Hello, and welcome to the numbers of Thoth. I have wanted to make a film about the creation myth of Heliopolis for some time. Partly because it is the best known of the ancient Egyptian creation myths, and because it is so poorly understood, even by academics. From the very earliest times, the people who made their home along the banks of the river Nile, were intrigued by the land they found there. By the annual cycle of the Nile and the abundance of life the river supported, They wanted to know, who had made this wonderful world. They wanted to know where all the animals and plants they depended on came from. And what their place in the great scheme of things was. The creation myth of Heliopolis is the oldest result of those speculations. It dates back to the very beginning of the first dynasty, and perhaps even before that. This 5,000-year-old world-building story, or cosmogony, belongs as much to the domain of theology and philosophy as it does to cosmology, because it describes the nature of the gods, and the religious beliefs connected with them. The myth begins when only the prima materia, existed. This was the material from which everything that existed would be made. It was called Nun. Nun came to be represented by the eight gods of pre-existence. A moon and a monet. Keek and Keket. No and Nunet. And, the gods He and He Het. This universal substance was primeval water. These primordial waters existed without light, without form, without limit, and without time. The process of creating the world, begins when Atom separates, or, differentiates himself from the water. He emerges from the infinite darkness of the endless watery abyss to become the All Creator the god who creates everything that will ever exist. From the fluids of his body, Atom creates two children. These are the first deities, Shu and Tefnut. Shu, was the god of breath, and space. Tefnut, the goddess of fire, and moisture. Then Atom created two more gods, Geb, and Nut. Geb was the god of the earth, Nut the goddess of the sky. These two gods were locked together, in an eternal sexual embrace, until Atom ordered Shu, to separate them. The separation of Geb and Nut, made space for creation. From this point in the story, the world is created as the progeny of the primordial mother and father, Geb and Nut. Creation was perfect. The cycle of the year was 360 days. Everything that was created by Geb and Nut, was destroyed by them. And so there was harmony. Nut was so full of life, she became dissatisfied with the daily round of creation. She asked her father, if she could have more children. Adam, was so alarmed at the idea, he invoked a curse upon her, saying that she should not give birth, to a child in any month or year. Thoth, understood Nut's problem, and hatched a plan. Thoth invited the moon god to play a game of Senate. The two gods literally played for time. In the game, Thoth won one seventieth part of each of the moon's periods of illumination. With these fractions of light, he made five new days, and gave them to the sun. This made the year, 365 days long. The creation of the five new days, rent Atom's world asunder. Now the cycles of the sun and moon were no longer perfect. The moon did not have enough time, and the sun had too much. The world was out of balance. The Egyptians celebrate these days as the birthdays of the gods. Because on these days Nut gave birth to four new gods. Osiris, Isis, Set, and Nephthys. Osiris was the god of the corn, of rebirth and life after death. He was the mythical first king, and lord of the underworld. Isis was the great mother. She was the savior of Osiris. The healer, and the carrier of the royal line. Set was the god of chaos. Like the four horsemen of the apocalypse, he brought death and destruction in his wake. But he also gave the king the power to smite his enemies and slay the evil snake Apophis. Nephthys, was the gatherer in. She was the goddess of doom who brought a conclusion to all things. 
She stalked the land like the Grim Reaper, ensuring everything that was begun, also came to an end. With all the elements of life and death in place. This imperfect but wonderful world began to take shape. In the 365 day year, there was a time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to harvest. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down, and a time to build up. A time to cry, and a time to laugh. A time to grieve, and a time to dance. The Heliopolis creation myth, is all about time. It's about stagnant perfection, and imperfect vitality. And, about balance and imbalance. Atom made a stagnant, but perfect world. Fuff and Nut broke it, and made a new world full of life. But with that life came the necessity of death. Everything that begins, must ultimately end. If you have enjoyed this video please, don't forget to press the like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe.